everyone, oh my Giona here, and today we're gonna be reading One Piece chapter 1066. If you have not yet, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video so that more people would be able to see it and share the love for One Piece. But yeah, we're reading this. I'm so excited. I just finished reacting to an episode of Happiness and it made me sad. So now I'm actually looking forward to One Piece. Maybe this one would give me real happiness. <laughs> but yeah, it actually came out early. Good job, TCB people. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, One Piece, chapter 1066. Oh, the Will of O'Hara, no! Uh, Oda wasn't kidding when he said that in this arc, the void century stuff would start um revealing itself <sighs> coming out of watching film red too like uh, there's so much stuff but oh is oda really gonna show it i mean last chapter ended with that oh Ooh, i just thought of something but it would be a spoiler for film red but yeah okay 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 Okay. If you've seen the show, uh, the movie, you would know. But it's kind of related to the ending of last chapter. But okay. Oh, we're, we still have the Jerma story um, cover page. What, what, what? One, two, three, four. Just the four siblings? Oh, yeah, there are only four siblings. <laughs> Losing my mind. And Caesar, they're going back to their country, returning to Germa with company. Yeah, they just brought Caesar. Oh, oh, wait. You know what? How? Okay, this is what I wanted to see from the Queen versus Sanji fight back in Wano, but it seems like we're gonna get it here. Uh, I wanted to know more about Mads. So, the scientists who work together, Vegapunk, Judge, Queen, and Caesar, they worked together back then. And the lineage factor, like the one that Judge used and Vegapunk has been using, it will have a big impact in the story. So, maybe they would show it here. Or this is just implying that Caesar and Judge are together and there are stuff that they would probably talk about and then it would link to vegapunk and where we are right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like that i love how the the snails all have different expressions on their faces it's like one has its mouth open one's just <laughs> and then one's just grinning oh that's so cute because they do have their own emotions and will, right? Okay, Oda notes. I got a new gas barbecue grill recently. I'm learning to cook meat via convection. I can't wait till everyone gets to try it. Uh, he's gonna have a party at his house where we're not invited. <laughs> I want a grill too. Oh, they're so expensive though, barbecue grills. Okay, what are you saying? A futuristic city like this existed in the distant past? Yes, Frankie, yes! Shocked at the whole crew. This is just conjecture. Yeah, it must be really uh, hard for them to understand because the stuff here in um, Egghead right now, you're just so... It's so ahead of its time. And they're not really, um, they don't know the stuff that we know. Because most of the Void Century stuff, we've learned from like a different place where the Straw Hats were not in. It's like information that only we have and they don't. So I can imagine them being super confused. I once knew a passionate archaeologist who was willing to risk his life to shed light on a certain ancient kingdom. Yeah. We getting more Robin? 
Not only that, but a certain site machinery was excavated that dated back to the same era as the kingdom. It's Shaka talking right now, right? Machinery? Is it the one that Luffy found? Same era as the kingdom. The kingdom! Oh. Are you saying that machinery was created during the void century? You tell me! Yo! Oh! Dang, Robin's shaking. These are the things that she wants to know about. Oh. By machinery, the shaka mean like the stuff that Luffy found? Like the giant robot thingy with like the Viking horn hat? Excuse me. You know something about this, Robin? No doubt, it's a painful memory, but 22 years ago, your home of Ohara was eradicated by a buster call. I think that happened because Ohara uncovered the details of the kingdom's existence. Oh, yeah. Like, Clover, he was about to say the name of the kingdom, and then he got shot. Um, They definitely know a lot more, but Ro Robin does not know that. Robin, this is it! I believe the history of the Void Century is the history of a conflict. Mm -hmm. One between an alliance of 20 nations and this forgotten advanced kingdom. So, the yeah, 20 nations and that advanced kingdom were in an alliance. They were all together, one group. The Victorious 20 went on to form the world government and shape history as we know it. Mm -hmm. And to ensure that the ideas of the ancient kingdom wouldn't live on, they erased every trace of it from history. Okay, this is stuff that we already know. That there were, like, the 20 nations... Oh, never mind. Okay. One between an alliance of 20 nations. So that's one group. The alliance of 20 nations. And then another group would be the advanced kingdom. That was the ancient kingdom. Yeah, we know all this stuff now. Oh, from before. Give me more. Oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, we know this stuff, but they don't. So we see their reactions now. What? That's crazy. Why is this for real? Whoa, what an epic and romantic tale. Frankie's so excited about it. Hang on, Vegapunk. You mean everyone who knows about this are dead? Yeah. Gets eliminated? Indeed. I like that word, eliminated. It's not, because I said earlier, like, dead. It's not that. They were deliberately erased, eliminated. Like, they were taken out because they knew about the ancient kingdom and what happened in the Void Century. It was called the Void Century. That in itself is already crazy. Then why did you tell us? I can't unhear it. <laughs> we need to know, Sanji. Oh, this must be Usopp and Nami, actually. Come on, brain. <laughs> Forget you didn't hear anything. Like I said, this is just conjecture. Oh, I wish my brain could just forget. You know, like... Well, not really forget. But make it feel like I'm reading One Piece for the first time. You know, just to feel that excitement again. I do feel excited when I rewatch or reread. But nothing would beat the first experience of reading it and watching the anime. That's that's just different. I wish I could do that. Maybe Vegapunk could do something like that. <laughs> hey, where am I? So tell me, Nico Robin, if I am right. And that discovery is why Ohara was wiped out. Yes, I can tell you that now, Shaka. Yes, that's why they were wiped out. Then wouldn't the government's actions be tantamount to a confirmation? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Who was it that said 
with, uh, it was Roger who said that, yeah, there are these things called poneglyphs and they have, uh, they tell a story or a message about a thing that happened in the past, but the government is not letting people read them. Like reading the poneglyphs, looking for them, it's illegal. Um, you can face charges from the government if you do these things. And that is why O'Hara was eliminated, erased from the world. So yeah, definitely a confirmation. Roger got that too. Why are you asking about this? The scholars did devise a theory after all their extensive research. So much Robin, I love it. But wouldn't someone as high up in the government as you... Wait, but wouldn't someone as high up in the government as you know about it already? I'm afraid the government affiliation makes no difference. I'm kept in the dark like everybody else. Yeah. I feel like it's just the Gorosei and Im who knew about it and nobody else. Like the celestial dragons, they're just living their awful lives, being awful to people, but they don't know anything. They don't know anything about what happened. It seems like um, Sengoku knew a little bit, or maybe just the existence of the Poneglyphs, but not exactly what that information entails. Like, overall, um, who else would know? Would Garp know? Probably not, or at least not as much, right? So even Vegapunk does not know. Even bringing this topic up to them would result in my immediate erasure. That's why they killed Cobra. Because Cobra started questioning them. He was asking questions that they did not want to answer or even brought up. That's why they killed Cobra. See, he says immediate erasure. Maybe that's why they're trying to kill Vegapunk now. Well, not only is that he finished the Seraphims and the government now has a really strong weaponry that can defeat the Shichibukai, the Yonko. They have such great power now, so they don't really need Vegapunk. But I feel like in addition to that, they caught wind that he is maybe researching or being interested in the Void Century and knows too much. So... He needs to be erased. Like, he himself mentions it. Even bringing this topic up to them would result in my immediate erasure. It doesn't matter what kind of contribution he has brought to the government. They would kill him. Just for bringing it up. That's insane. Then stop telling us this is just torture. Let us out of here. Who's up? We want to know. If that's true, how could you know they were researching that kingdom? All the books and materials were on Ohara and they were... The will of Ohara lives on! Robin, your mother, stayed with the other archaeologists, putting all the books in the lake so that they won't get burnt. And later on, people found them and they were like, What are all these books in the lake? Your mother gave up her life so that the people would know all these knowledge that they found out, that they researched, they compiled. Damn. I really like this thing about One Piece. I mean, this is such a big thing, right? Like the will, the will of D. The will living on. It's just, ah, it's so good. This must be a topic for a different video. But like, this is one thing that I really like about Fishman Island. The whale of people, it doesn't end, right? With Otohime, she died. But then the stuff that she did, it touched so many people. And then it kept moving. It kept being passed on. Shirahoshi um, surviving the reverie. It was all because of the one thing that she did. 
save um, Mjolsgaard, change his life. Ten years later, dude saves her daughter's life. Like, that's so crazy. Even here, Robin's mom, despite wanting to live with Robin, despite wanting to be with her daughter, she stayed with the rest of the archaeologists of Ohara so that their will lives on wanting to pursue knowledge. They, they are passing it on to other people. And then it would just keep going on. It lives. Ugh, so good. Ugh, gotta read that again. If that's true, how could you know they were researching that kingdom? All the books and materials were on Ohara and they were... No, Robin, the will of Ohara lives on. You can't erase it. You can't. The fire, it keeps burning. Girl, it keeps burning. It's burning in you. It's burning in a lot of people. That day shocked the world. Did I miss something? No, no, no. That day shocked the world. In a single night, Ohara, the island renowned for its love of knowledge, was wiped out save for one little girl. They put a 79 million berry bounty on her head. An eight-year-old. Insane. The scholars were labeled devils. Dissidents who plotted to overthrow the government. This must be so hard for Robin. <sighs> that flashback hurts so much. <sighs> Robin. 20 years she's been running. Been running. Oh, it's all coming back to me. In his lobby, Water 7. <sighs> Dang. Ah. Uh. Robin, you're so close. You're so close. See, and it's not just the effort from her alone and from the crew, but it was almost like the scholars giving her a push, you know? Like, we we did this so that the future generation would be able to do more. It's almost like them saying, like, Robin, you're the, you're the last one left. We did this even for that one person who survives. We did this. <sighs> so good, man. One piece. A few months after the incident, I paid a visit of my own to the scorched earth of Ohara. He actually went there a few months after the incident. So did he take all the books? I was acquainted with Professor Clover, the foremost authority on archaeology. I figured I should at least leave some flowers for him. Dang! Um, is Robin in the South? I mean, O'Hara? Was it in South Blue? So, like, um, Vegapunk went all the way there to at least leave some flowers for him. That's how much he cared for Clover. That says a lot about Vegapunk as a person. You knew Professor Clover? Yeah, I mean, smart people. They probably have, like, a group. <laughs> his obsession with the Void Century fueled his adventurous lifestyle. Searching for relevant texts the world over. <laughs> Was he a pirate? <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Look at Clover. He actually has a clover on his head. It's like much taller. The Marines incarcerated him on at least 10 occasions. <laughs> By the time he settled down, he was the world's most famous archaeologist. See, there's a thing. Um, This was not a perspective that we had before. We just knew that Clover is... Like, one of, like, the brilliant minds of the world. It's saying here that he's the the most famous archaeologist in the world. But he wouldn't have been that if he did not go out there on an adventure experiencing the world. That's what it is. Like, Luffy, in 
like he he ate the fruit you know he's already a special guy but he if he did not go out into the world if he did not choose to go on an adventure it wouldn't have mattered he wouldn't have been monkey d luffy yonko future pirate king right that tells us so much. No matter what talent, no matter how special of a person you are, no matter how big of a potential you have, if you don't go out there, if you don't experience the world, if you just stay in your own bubble, you won't be able to reach the potential. You won't be able to reach um, the best version of yourself. I'm totally saying this to myself (laughs) Giona get out of the house (laughs) do more Giona do more (laughs) thank you Oda for the wake up call I appreciate that sorry I'm like talking to myself okay (laughs) come back come back Okay. okay 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 wait like, the waves almost look like Wano waves. Or Gear 5 waves. They're... Maybe because it's, like, a, just a thought in his mind. That's why it looks like that. Over time. Oh my gosh, there's so much! Chill! <clears throat> Over time, countless scholars were drawn to him, and they all flocked to O'Hara. It truly became the holy land of archaeology. Unfortunately, the aftermath of those talented minds coming together would prove tragic. Yeah, because then the the government actually noticed them and perceived them as threat, leading them to be killed. Yo! Why does he look like a long Lorax? <laughs> Is this Vega Punk? When I stepped foot on O'Hara, even a tree of knowledge had been burned to cinders. I was speechless when I saw it. But in the lake, all the books were there. Dang! Is this the real Vega Punk? Was it? Aren't there, like, people with... Is that strawberry? Like, the marine with, like, a long, long head? It looks like he has a tall head. Almost looks like that. And then it has, like, spikes. Like, it's hair. Looks like a big thumb with legs and arms. He brought flowers. So that's Vegapunk! He must be a different kind of species. You know what? He almost looked like those uh, space pirates. Remember, like, the NL cover page? There are those space pirates, and they have, like, long heads, and I thought they were just being made to look like aliens. Well, we don't know how aliens look like. But, like, the standard image of aliens, that looks like him. Is that Vegapunk? No wonder it's so smart. He has a big head. Long head. Okay. But the lake, yes, yes. But the lake at the center of the island had been filled with an unbelievable, unbelievable number of books. What in the world? I could only assume that it was the work of the scholars. They must have dedicated their final moments to ensuring that the future had access to their treasure trove of knowledge. Gonna clap for those people. You guys are the goats. See, even back then when we saw when we saw them do that Like, them giving up their lives just so that they could save the books. It was already, like, a heroic moment for them. It was a a big moment. But you don't realize just how much that could change the world. 
Not one action, not what self-sacrifice that they did. Look what it, look what it did. Vegapunk got all of this, and now he knows a little bit more, and he's telling us. This could change the world. This is changing the world. Good job, O'Hirons. Okay, where am I now? Who, who, who? So much Robin! I love it! If any Marines did discover the books, they were apparently too ignorant to understand their value and left them be. O'Hara had triumphed over them. Mm -hmm. They thought they were nothing but wet books. They did not understand that it was knowledge that's being passed on. Knowledge from, from the past, from the people who worked so hard, who researched them, compiled them. So that the future would know better. But the Marines did not understand. When I realized that, I couldn't stop myself from crying. I get you, man. I get you. Oh, what's the word? Tremendous? Like, I can't think of the English word for it. But in Korean, it's like, Oma Oma Hage. Like, this grand, so, so big. It's, I don't know what the word is, but it's oma oma hage in Korean. And it's just, like, overwhelming. Maybe that's, like, the, the right translation for it. But just so overwhelmingly big. Just immense, you know. It would make you cry having that realization of what they did what kind of impact it's gonna have <sighs> oh man robin <laughs> <laughs> don't show me this oh look at robin it's all coming back to her it's all coming back to me it's all coming back to all of us. The pain of that flashback. Please take care of Robin. Make sure she escapes the island. I still have a duty to see to here. She probably did not understand that when she was younger. What it meant. It probably just felt like, oh, my mom is choosing to do something else. Because she didn't even see what she stayed for, right? To Robin, at a young age, it probably felt like almost selfish <laughs> for her mom to say, I, I have to stay here. I can't go with you. I love you, but I can't go with you because I have something to do here. <sighs> but now she's realizing that 22 years later. <sighs> like what her mom did. Oh, gosh. I wanted to be happy. <laughs> I just cried so much watching happiness earlier. I didn't want One Piece to make me cry. Oh, gosh. It's so hard for me to see. Everything's blurry. Save the books. Get the reference materials out of the library. Oh. Robin. History is our greatest treasure. It must be preserved. We can't just give up on your future. <laughs> ah! <sighs> when you think about it this way, it makes you think about your actions a little bit more. You know, like everything that you do even though it seems like it's not going to have a big impact right now, later on, you don't know, 10 years, 20 years, in 100 years, it would have an impact on someone, on people. It doesn't matter if it's like one person, you know, 100 people, like a million. It doesn't really matter. <sighs> oh. I have so much emotions about the will. The, about the will 
living through other people and it being passed on. Like, she's so insane. Uh, I did not expect to be this emotional <laughs> over this chapter. Dang it. Uh, how many people would go back to rewatch this flashback after reading this? <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> Oh, Kazan! Be proud, Robin. Your mom's an an honorable woman. O'Hara stood up to the world. And look what it did. Look what it did, Robin. This must be like a whiplash of emotions for Robin. It's something that she's she's already accepted, you know. She had to live with this for 20 years, blaming herself. Ugh, just carrying all of this burden for 20 years, and then she met the Straw Hats. And then now, it coming back to her. It's, it's always painful, but then it does get better, and you see it in a more positive light, because you're more mature, and you can see it in a different perspective now. This is so cool. I, I love that they're showing this. <sighs> Robin deserves this screen time. Definitely deserves it. So though. Oh, Robin's crying. <laughs> I bet they've never seen her like that. I mean, I want to live. They did see her cry. But it's been a while. And seeing her, like, just cry, you know, so vulnerable, just, <sighs> it's like the young girl from 22 years ago, crying and realizing all this stuff. <sighs> you helmet wearing bastard. <laughs> How dare you make Robin cry? That's it, Vegapunk, you better release these shoes. <laughs> Vegapunk. Who's here? Don't tell me Dragon's here. Or is it Robin just saying Vegapunk? I love how they're all so protective of Robin, though. <laughs> it was Robin who said Vegapunk. It's just as you said, they came to the same conclusions about the kingdom before the incident. I see. So it's all true. Where are the books from the lake now? I really wanted to take them back to Punk Hazard. But I knew if the tap brass ever caught wind, it would be all over. So instead... Where did he put the box? Where did he put the books? So he did not bring them to Punk Hazard. Did he, like, create, like, a system to, like, file them so that it's, like, in a tiny SD card or something? <laughs> Instead, what did he do? He burnt them into his brain? What What did he do? Ah, I'm not going to think about it. Just next page. <gasps> they were taken by the people I saw that day. It's freaking dragon, isn't it? Yo, we're getting flashback. What? I did not expect that. They were taken by the people I saw that day. That's how he knew the revolutionaries. 22 years ago. Would they have existed? Probably. No, but no, 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 no. Dragon did not have his tattoo back in Roger's... Um, wait, 22 years? No, he probably... He probably already had the revolutionaries because then this would be two years after Roger died. Oh my gosh, we're getting so much information! Is this for real? Am I dreaming? How are we getting so much information? Okay, flashback. Ohara. Oh, it's in West Blue. Sorry, it was West Blue. 22 years ago, a few months after the Buster Call incident, Mm. Someone else is visiting the debris. Giants! Giants! <laughs> is this Vic Punk? That's Vic Punk! That's how he looks like! 
He is an old guy. That's fake punk. He kind of does look like the Lorax. The mustache and all that. Except he has a big head. <sighs> There's so much. <laughs> all right, let's pull him up. They are giants. It's not the revolutionary. Are they bringing it? It's gonna be Elbaf after this, isn't it? It's gonna be Elbaf. They have the books. They probably know more. I mean, they live for a long time. Like, if they lived to 300. So, giants who lived back in like the void century, if they managed to escape. It would only be like three generations for them, right? Like the grandson would know if like it's been passed on. Giants. All right, let's pull them up. Who are they? What should I do? Do they have any idea how, how important those books are? But they went there. They're allied, aren't they? Like, they went there on purpose to get the books. Do we know these people? They kind of look like the people that we know, don't they? Hmm. You know, like Oimo, like the... Uh, I forgot their names. Oimo and Kashi? Um, from Enya's Lobby. They kind of have the same outfit. It's been a while, Vegapunk. As usual, the head of yours makes you stand out. Who this? Is that you? <laughs> nice tongue! He has his tongue out? He looks so weird! He looks so weird! So that is just his head. Like, the tall thing is just his head. I love it. As usual, the head of yours makes you stand out. He looks like a woman. This person has a cape. Is that you? Who is it? I'm so scared. It's Luffy's mom. <laughs> I don't know. Dragon! <laughs> he does not have his tattoo yet. Okay, okay. Oh my god, there's so much. Ah, I already saw the head. Dragon, what are you doing here? They were already acquainted. So Dragon also knows the, dra the dragons, the giants. Oh my gosh, what is this chapter? Oh, it's still going, the camera's still on, okay. Dragon, what are you doing here? That's my line. Your head definitely looks like it's gotten a good bit bigger. <laughs> I knew Old Man Clover. Of course he does. Dragon knows a lot more. I can't believe we're seeing Dragon right now! We're seeing Dragon! In the flesh! Oh my gosh. Vegapunk looks so weird! No wonder he's so smart though. Like, look at the head. Looks like a butt. It looks like a heart. Why is his tongue out? Is he like a kind of, um, like a different clan? Like a big head clan or something like that? You, that's my line. Your head, okay, I read that part. You too? I know he once, uh, I, ah! I know he was once a bit of a hooligan roaming the seas. But all that nonsense about him trying to destroy the world. It's blatant propaganda. Okay, so Vegapunk was 43 years old back then. So now he's 65. He's not that old. So it's not like he's dying from natural causes. He probably just know 
that he's going to die because the government is after him. Monkey D. Dragon, head of the Freedom Fighters. They were not revolutionaries yet back then. 33 years old. So, Dragon is 55. He's 55. Yeah. Okay. He's 55. 55. Okay. So... So I don't have Luffy yet. So he met Luffy's mom somewhere between this. Who could it be? Hmm. Okay. Dang, I can't believe we're, <laughs> we're seeing Dragon and Vegapunk in the same page. I did not expect Vegapunk to look like this. Does he not look like a bit of like a the Lorax? He's so weird. Why does he why is his tongue out like that? Are you worried about the giants? They're not scavengers. I had a word with them just now. Okay, so he's not a part like the giants were not part of Dragon's Freedom Fighters just yet, it seems. It seems they're from Elbaf, and they're fully aware of the value of those books. Their captain was a strange giant wrapped from head to toe in bandages. Bandages? Do we know like a giant that got badly injured? 22 years ago. <gasps> Is this all? No, but... No, Saul is not from Elbaf, though. He is a giant, but he's not from Elbaf. He made that clear. Their captain was a strange giant wrapped from head to toe in bandages. 22 years ago. Dang, I, I don't know. who. We're going to meet this person in Elbaf, probably. Okay, 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 okay. He said O'Hara sacrificed itself for those treasures and he couldn't let them be erased from history. It has to be Saul. He's alive. I mean, it's, it's the will of D. He's a D. Jaguar D. Saul. He made his own crew. So did Aokiji not kill him then? So much, so much. He said O'Hara sacrificed itself for those treasures and he couldn't let them be erased from history. After seeing a government lackey like you lurking about, I'm glad they're here to scoop them up and keep them safe. Hey, you know I'd never. <laughs> you passed on joining the Freedom Fighters a while ago, but it still made me sick to hear about you becoming one of their lapdogs. Hmm. Interesting, considering how Kuma is one, too. Like, he... Wait, so... So, Dragon offered... Um... To Vegapunk, like, a position, or... Like, to join the Freedom Fighters back then. Don't be stupid. Your ragtag operation was always too poor. What good are my skills and intellect if I can't actually build things? Mm-hmm. Smart. He was able to build so much with the government's money. I know, I know, you're as blunt as ever. <laughs> the world government is an insanely huge organization. There are plenty of decent people on the inside that can be reasoned with, especially in the Navy. Don't lose sight of the end goal, Dragon. So they have an end goal. And Vegapunk is aware of it. And he's saying here is that there are people on the inside, especially the Navy. Not really the, the world government. But the Navy. There are good people in it. And I believe that. We, we've seen these good people, you know, like Smoker and Fujitora. But it must be someone that we don't know. 
or, or someone that we know. If, if it's Akainu, hmm. don't lose sight of the end goal. So they have an end goal, and the Marines can can join in this if they have good intentions, right? So he's basically saying, like, don't exclude them from the plan because there are good ones in the Navy. So don't think of them as all bad dudes. I get it, but I can't just sit back after this. It's too damn much. Is this why he actually started calling his group the revolutionaries? Is this what ignited that in him? Those harmless scholars were brutally snuffed out just for questioning their authority. It's a farce. It is the O'Hara incident that started that fire in him. He was already doing like the freedom fighter movement thing, but it seems like this is actually the start of him creating the revolutionaries as we know now. See? The the O'Harans did so much. They did so much. <sighs> I'm going to raise an army that can fight them head on. Yeah, because the revolutionaries are actually going against the world government, right? So this is where it started for him. The revolutionaries started here in O'Hara because of the feelings that he has about the incident. I thought you hated war. Just watch Vegapunk. I'll change the world. Very much like Luffy, isn't it? L Luffy Luffy also... Well, not change the world, but he wanted to be free. He probably doesn't know it yet, but his dream will change the world. It already is changing because of him and the things that he did. So they go way, like a long time ago, right? It's 22 years ago, and it seems like they already knew each other even before this. So, yeah, they go way back. The will of O'Hara won't die with Clover. It didn't, it didn't, Dragon, it didn't. Dragon looks so cool, though. And within a year, he imported Ivankov and Bartholomew Kuma. So the three of them were like the pillars? Founded the revolutionary army which continues to shake the world to this day. Dang! So Kuma and Ivankov, Ivatan, they were like the main people then. Yeah, she is really like, Ivatan was really close to Dragon. Like, like this close, right? So it's three of them who built it. We're learning so much. We're learning so much. <laughs> I said I'm just going to quickly read the chapter because I haven't had dinner yet. But now my tummy's grumbling. And it's been like, oh gosh. Wow, Luffy's dad sounds intense. Did you say Elbaf? <laughs> Professor Clover's fate motivated dragon? Yes! My head's gonna blow! Why did Kuma help us? Exactly, Frankie! That's what I feel right now! My head's gonna blow! And why did you modify him so much? Vegapunk, tell me! Eva, that bastard, was one of the founding members of the revolutionary. <laughs> They're just, they're all being mind blown here. Like, it's not even being mind blown by the same thing. Like, Nami's worried about, like, Luffy's dad. You know, it's like, wow, that's Dragon. And you have um, Usopp going like, what, Elbaf? And then Robin's thinking of, like, Professor Clover, right? And then he's thinking about Kuma. He's thinking about Iwa-chan. <laughs> I feel you guys. That's what I feel right now. I feel like my brain's gonna explode. I don't even know how to process these thoughts. 
Are we gonna have a break? Is that why? Is that why we're getting so much? We're gonna get a break? Mm. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I am getting happiness right now, I guess. The books from O'Hara certainly couldn't be left to be found by the government, but my curiosity compelled me to make a discreet trip to Elbaf, where the books were taken, and they allowed me to read each and every one. It's Saul! It's Saul! Look at that! He's bandaged up, but he still has his hat, you know, like, almost like a cowboy hat. Saul! Saul's alive! The D! The D! They don't die! <laughs> it's obvious, man! Look at that! He stayed in Elbaf, though. It's interesting that they took him in. Was he just lying about not being from Elbaf? Maybe he is from Elbaf, but he he just lied about it. In other words, I took everything O'Hara uncovered about the world's secrets and memorized it. Dang, he has photographic memory. Of course he does. He read, he read all of it and just committed it to memory. So he knows everything that he put in, Kuma? Wait. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did he put it in Kuma? My curiosity compelled me to make a discreet trip, trip to Elbaf. Where the books were taken, and they allowed me to read each and every one of them. In other words, I took everything O'Hara uncovered about the world's secret and memorized it. It's all in my head, and I've continued the research. Kept going. Kept going. He continued the research, so he probably knows everything now. That's why he's going to be killed. If Luchi gets here and kills him, I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad. That giant captain, he's called Saul, isn't he? Yes, I know it. Robin knew it. He's alive. Robin, he's alive. <laughs> Did he live, though? Because if he's seeing, like, the newspapers and, like, the bounty posters, knowing that Robin... <laughs> knowing that Robin actually found people who love her... <sighs> And who stayed with her? Because if Saul lived even even now, um, he would have kept tabs on Robin, you know? Like seeing her, oh, this is what she's doing, just being worried about her. Did Aokiji know? There's no way Aokiji, Aokiji did not know about this. Oh, dang. Does he not know then? He probably doesn't know because he went to Robin and tried to kill her. <sighs> He's in hiding now, so I can't confirm anything. He's alive. He's alive. He must be so happy for Robin. Oh. <laughs> Robin, he's alive. Oh, look at Robin. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Vegapunk. Thank you for not letting O'Hara's sacrifice be in vain. Wow, this is the most emotion we've seen in Robin. One chapter. She's so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I try to help progress every field of thought possible. It's my nature as a scholar. Wow. Bing. Okay, they got they got out. Wow, the shoes are moving on their own. Oh, they're being pulled. I can't release you just yet. Follow me. There's something I want to show you. <sighs> can my heart do more? I, can my heart take more? Oh, gosh. There's Luffy. Junkyard, Eggheads Fabrication Stratum. Chopper, there's no way to get in. Oh, it must be the type that moves on its own. Film red. 
film red. Move, move, robot. <laughs> Does it need a special command? <laughs> hey, Google. <laughs> Maybe we've just got to say its name. Move, Robonosuke. <laughs> Robonosuke. <laughs> move, Robo King. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You guys are such kids. Ain't no way it's it's gonna move. It moved! The robot's gonna blow! It's moving! The name can't be Robonosuke or Robo King. It must be Luffy's voice. They're activated by his voice. <gasps> it's Mega Monk! Wait. Save me, Quasar! No good, another debacle. Somebody, please save me, Quasar. What does he mean, Quasar? Perhaps space time bent mid warp. What? What's he talking about? Oh, <coughs> 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 uh, sorry. Uh, I need to chill, man. What is he talking about? Perhaps space time bent mid warp. Perhaps. Space time bent mid warp. He's trying to warp and then space and time bent while he's doing the warp. So confused, man. What the? There's a guy like Kinemon here. <laughs> I'm thinking. I've got you. Sorry. It's him. She knows how Vegapunk looks. Much obliged. You're Dragon's Boy, right? I knew you'd come. Good job on making it. I love it. You're a dragon's boy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh my, Bonnie. <laughs> Dear me, you sure have gotten big. What, old man, are you floating? <laughs> it's splendid to see you so full of vigor. Vega punk. You can float too, you know. Those dom shoes you're wearing have a nifty hover function. See here? Press the button on the side. Grab the lever. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> And give it a big ol' push. Like this? That's the way. Those shoes are amazing. Gadzooks. <laughs> We've flown too far. <laughs> oh my gosh. I lost it. <laughs> and they've flown too far. They're probably gonna go up to the... Re oh, is that the research stratum? Wherever like Frankie, Sanji, and others are. Oh, he cut his head. Hmm. He cut his head. It's now an apple. <laughs> Maybe he took out his brain and like cut it up and put it in different um satellites. Is that what he did? It seems like he cut his head. Wow. Oh, gosh. What are we doing? Why does it keep going up? Oh, gosh. I've lost it. Okay. Luffy's just happy. Wow, the humble genius appears. Save us, Quasar. Why does he say Quasar? Just the end of his sentences. The man with the biggest brain in the world. Leader of the Navy's SSG. Special Science Group. That's what it's called. Dr. Vegapunk. We finally saw him. <laughs> He looks like a normal person now. Because he cut his he cut his brain out. So funny. <laughs> Dang, there's no break. Ooh. That was a lot. Oh gosh, I've been recording for like an hour now. <sighs> no wonder. Um Ohara. Um, not Arthur, but the other Ohara. He he tweeted about how it's such a good time to be a One Piece fan, you know, just having that grateful heart to be a One Piece fan at this time. And I thought, oh yeah, maybe 1066 is uh, a really good chapter. But I did not expect it to be this. I thought it was going to be hype, maybe from the action or like the information about the... Um, 
the giant robot thing that Luffy found. But it was more than that. I can't believe they showed us a Robin flashback. Um, I mean, they they showed what we've already seen, but a, a little bit more that we did not see. And we saw um, Dragon and Vegapunk in the same page. Vegapunk is not what I imagined him to be. I did not... I did not expect that, that like that design, <laughs> the head. <laughs> it's just so weird. So I'm thinking now that he probably cut off his head. No, like the top of it, he, he cut it and then took out his brain, cut it up and put them in clones or like his satellites. They're not really clones. Um, His satellites so that it would be divided up. It seems like this Vegapunk, like the original one, seems more, um, what's the word? Free, I would say. He doesn't seem as busy as all the other ones. What was he doing under there, though? He was talking about a warp. He was probably testing something. But dang, there's so much information, like the revolutionaries, Eva, Kuma, and Dragon. They're like the the main, they were the pillars, the foundation of the revolutionary army. And him being fueled by what happened to Ohara. It's just the whale, like that's a perfect title that the whale lives on. Because it's not just for one person. It lived on in so many people. Not just Robin, who, like, well, mom was specifically thinking about Robin. Like, we can't give up on your future. That's why she did that. But it affected so many people. It affected Vegapunk that caused him to go to Elbaf get all that information, continue the research, and find out the things that he know now. Um, we have Dragon. Fueled by this incident, he built the Revolutionary Army, and they've done so much for the world. The government is really um, going after them. They've really built a name for themselves, and I believe they've, they've helped a lot of people along the way. Um, fueled Saul. I did not think he would be alive, but I, I don't even mind. You know, people have a problem with Oda not killing people. I don't have a problem with that. Um, some of them did not make sense, but I don't care. We have, like, the world in real life already have too many problems. I don't want to grieve <laughs> in like a, a fictional story, but I don't have a problem with Oda not killing people. I really like that Saul is alive. It gave Robin so much relief and happiness to know that the person who saved her is actually alive and well. Oh, well, I we don't know if he's well, but if we... Probably we'll see him in Elbaf. It seems like he built um, a pirate group or maybe even just a group because they they took the the books from Ohara. Um, see, he's he's been touched by what the Oharans did and he's continuing it. I believe that he is also researching the Poneglyphs and have made great progress at this point. We are definitely going to meet him when we go to Elbaf and we're going to learn um, more about the Void Century. So happy for the, the Robin stuff. <sighs> so nice to see her. We've seen so much emotion in Robin in just this one chapter. More than anything, I think. Uh, well, she did have a lot of emotions back in water seven and enya's lobby but those are more the sad part of it but here we've seen so much from her she looks lovely 
I'm so happy for what she's become and what she's achieved now. I bet her mom and everyone from Ohara, they are so proud of her. We are proud of her. Robin, we love you. <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. Like, oh, gosh. They didn't even talk about why he did that to Kuma. <laughs> Oda probably thought it would be too much. Too much for us if he adds that. Maybe next chapter. Man. Indeed. What an awesome time to be alive and be a fan of One Piece. <sighs> oh gosh. I'm just so happy. It really fills up my heart to be reading something as good, something as inspiring, something that would... um, It literally has a will that touches all of us who, who read this masterpiece and you can't deny it but once once you get touched by this work of art you kind of pass it along and you know like the lessons you've learned from one piece you pass it along i actually got one kid to read one piece i told him because he he was reading it and i told him yeah just take the two volumes home read it over the weekend i'll bring you some more next week and he was so happy and it was Yes, I got another soul into one piece. <laughs> I did my job for the week. But yeah. so grateful, so grateful to be alive and be reading one piece. Um, so grateful, grateful for all of you um, watching my videos it means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the chapter down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.